Hi guys. Okay. So, um, I was playing Parasite Eve and, uh, on my emulator, my EPSXE, I don't know if that's hard for anyone else to say. Anyway, I was saying I was playing Parasite Eve 1, the first one on, um, my emulator and I could not change to disc two. I was so frustrated. So I searched all over and everyone said, you have to use, uh, the EPSXE version 1.6 and I was like all right fine so I uh, I looked for a YouTube video because sometimes it's just nice to have people walk you through stuff and I couldn't find one so I'm making one um so anyway if you already have your so you probably are using uh you're probably using 1.7 or newer on EPSXE so uh you're gonna want to download um 1.6 which is the only one that I've heard can uh play, uh, sorry, change discs for Parasite Eve. So go ahead and go to the epsxe.com and uh, you're going to go to downloads right here. Scroll all the way down. You got your old epsxe versions. You're going to download 1.6. When it's done, open and it's going to bring it up in your zip extractor. Uh, go ahead and extract and I've already created an empty folder on my desktop. Um, so you can create your own folder. Mine is under EPSXE 1.6. So, okay. Okay. It'll extract that once it's done. Um, then, and you can see right here, I've got it all right here now. That was an empty folder before. So now, <clears throat> just like you would with your, um, emulator that you've already downloaded, you're going to go to emulator zone and go to your plugins and utilities, download Darn it. <laughs> Download Pete's GPU plugins uh, 1.77. Open that. Extract that. You're going to select the, the plugins folder. Go ahead and extract there. And last but not least, you're going to need your BIOS or BIOS or however you guys pronounce that. Um, so we got your MU or I like to call it EMU Paradise. Um, and uh, all the links are in the description. So don't worry, you can find them. Um, and you're going to, it's going to bring you to a page like this, the BIOS files. Uh, scroll down and you're going to see all these PSX BIOS packs things. Um, and really the only one you need is this last one right here, the uh, 1001. So go ahead and click that. It's just one BIOS file. Um, so when that's done, see, it's just one. Extract to the BIOS, right there. BIOS, BIOS. All right, so that's all extracted. So now you're good. So now you're going to want to, and this is important, and don't worry, uh, if you have both the 1.6 and also um, the newer one, which I have uh, 1.9, they will not, They'll not interact with each other, so don't worry about having both on your computer. They're not gonna. They're not gonna uh, conflict. Not gonna conflict. 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 So you're gonna go to the memory on the one that you've been playing on, and all you gotta do is oops, sorry, copy. You're gonna go over here, and you're going to go to the, the this is memory card, and you're going to paste, and that's gonna put uh, your memory from your current game over to this, sorry, not this, over to the 1.6 emulator. So go ahead and open up that uh, emulator. You're going to configure. You've already got that, and yep, and you're gonna click that, and that, and that, and uh, configure the controller if you need to. Um, I've already done it, so okay, next, and done. Okay, so uh, because I already did this, I already changed disk, I unfortunately don't have a file to um to uh that can switch from disc one to disc two but you're so you're just gonna have to trust me on this because it worked for me so here's the hoping it works for you uh so go ahead and open for me it's parasite eve disc one it's gonna start the game no why oh i know why okay hold on okay so i figured out what was wrong sorry um you have to go to your control panel uh, I don't know if this is for everyone, but it's just how my, my computer handles it. Uh, so if your thing is crashing, you're going to want to go to your control panel right here. Uh, go to your system and security. You're going to go to system um, and go to advanced. Adv here we go. Advanced system settings. Uh, it's going to bring up this thing. You're going to click. Uh, mm, sorry, performance. Okay, you're going to see performance right here. Click settings. 
go to data execution prevention. So you can see I've got all these going on. So um, just from, from ones I've added in the past. So I'm going to go to desktop where I have my folder. Go like that, add that, apply, okay, okay. And it should work now. Here's to hoping. Ha ha ha, success. Okay, so like I said uh, before, <laughs> It spazzed out. I don't have uh, an actual file to open on disk one. Um, and so, uh, you guys are just going to have to trust me. You go ahead, open up your, your disk one file. Uh, you should be right before, uh, for, if you're playing Parasite Eve, you should be right before the, um, the bridge where you collect the key. And then it says, uh, you know, oh no, the gloop is headed towards the museum. Uh, and then you have to exit the scene. And when you exit the scene, uh, you'll continue on to disk two. So, uh, when you, when it comes to that screen that says, please insert disk two, because you're on 1.6, it's going to work. So just press escape. It's going to bring you here. You can see all these are grayed out. That's okay. You're going to go to change disk, ISO, pick disk two. And, uh, and so after that, you're going to find a save point, find the nearest save point. I ran back to the subway and saved my game at the telephone. Uh, and then you exit out of this. Okay. Now, after you've done that, you have to transfer your memory back to oh by the way just side note when you're playing on 1.6 it might not be for you guys but for me it was awful like the audio quality was terrible the video quality was just dreadful don't be scared it's not going to save your settings like that so you're good all right so uh after you're closed out after you've saved on the second disc you're going to come back here go to your 1.6 uh memory card thing and it's already updated so go ahead just sorry go ahead and select it like you did before, copy, go back. This is uh, my 1.9. I just have it named PlayStation Emulator 2 because I have a really hard time saying this. Um, <laughs> so go, go to your memory card for your, uh, your later version and click paste. And uh, then you run ISO. You open up your, your new version. So for me, it's 1.9. And you click on disk 2. And... Voila, it loads, and now you can play from disc two. I'm pretty sure this will work with any game. I hear that um, people are having trouble with Final Fantasy, I guess all the Final Fantasies, if you have to disc change. I heard Metal Gear Solid has this problem too. Um, so this should work for any of those. Um, if you have other issues, you can post them in the comments. I can't promise I can fix them because I am pretty much a computer noob. So um, anyway, I hope this uh, tutorial helped you guys. I hope that you're excited and that you can play your game now because I was thrilled that I could play my game. I thought I was going to have to give up all of my games that required multiple discs. Um, go ahead, like, comment, share with your friends if they're having the same issues. And um, yeah, I guess I'll see you guys later. Bye.